What about making your sound better? Hi there guys, Red Hat Roman in cooperation with WA Production is speaking. Um, in this tutorial I want to show you how to properly bounce stems. It won't be anything about sound designing, I won't be uh, producing anything in there. I'm not sure if you will receive something for free for <laughs> you know in the description of the video, but I just wanted to uh, do this tutorial I have it in my head for a long time so now I find it I finally uh, managed to you know really record it so here I have a tropical house tropical house project uh, for a construction kit that I was creating for WA and yeah let me just you know play to you so you can actually hear what what this all is about So yeah, and so on and so on. So a bit of theory, theory, <laughs> a bit of some basic facts. Um, this is the project and you can do two things with it once you, you know, like finish the track. You can like bounce the whole track, you can render it all together as the WAF or the MP3 file and just, you know, have the complete track. Or you can send it to mastering very mixing and mastering very usually you need to separate the track into like uh, I don't know like three to to like 30 uh, like stems and parts of the track and send it to some mastering guys mastering studios like for example we have in WA production so you can send it to our to us and we will take all of those stems we will affect them separately and mix them properly and create like a fully mixed and mastered track so if you want to <coughs> if you want just to have your track properly mastered you will need to bounce stems from the project you know which you will then send to the mastering studio stems mean that for example that you will put more like uh, more single elements to one stem you know more similar single elements which means like that do it you will do let's say percussion stem which means that in this track i have like oops i have you know these three perc percussion so if i want to create a percussion stem i will just solo these percussion samples, uh, all, all of them are routed to the channel number 8 and I will like... You know, I will, I will bounce just this part of the track. So it is the first stem. The next stem uh, usually, uh, usually or you know, let me just take it from the other side, you know, what I'm doing when I'm bouncing stems. I, I'm usually starting with kicks because kicks can be are really important to be bound separately from the other synth and from all of the other stuff so it, once you are bouncing stems be sure to really bounce all kicks separately without any other sounds just pure kicks okay so what I do is first you know I make sure that all of those sounds synth samples are routed to a channel you know because for example if I solo this kick sample you can see it's it's routed to the to the mixer channel number 12 I soloed it but this fx let's say I don't have routed anywhere so so it will be still playing you know it will be still playing and I will render it together with kicks which will be 
quite a mess so be sure to have all of those little pieces routed to like to channel to mi mixer channels you know you can route as I did uh, with percussion you can route for example all impacts to the channel number eight or whatever you know so that's the first thing which is really important if you want to bounce stamps you know route all of those um, all of those pieces to mixer channels. Also, there is a possibility that you won't have or you you don't have this type of massive projects as I am creating. So you can just solo uh, this one line. Let's say I can solo just these kicks. But if you want to solo, uh, for example, these synths, you are you have to be sure that you will solo also envelopes uh, length to whatever automation you know you are doing with those things so my advice is to really like solo those elements on your mixer you know so okay so uh, our kicks are soloed we know that uh, all of the other stuff is is uh, linked to their own uh, mixer channels which means that if I play the track I won't hear anything anywhere the only thing I will hear are those kicks okay that's great so what do we do next you go to your master channel where I you have only this pro L limiter by pop filter you will turn it off if you will have there like any type of compressors, multiband compressors, any type of limiters, you will turn it off, all of it. The only thing you can leave there are, I don't know, like volume controllers, equalizers, or whatever, but not, you know, but only those things that are playing with the color of the sound, which are not compressing the sound, uh, the elements that are going to the master channel. So all of compressors of type of compressors and limiters need to be turned off okay so I turned it off and the next thing the final one actually is that I will is that I, lo I will load this free to balance which is like a volume controller or balance you know pens pan, pen controller and I will turn down to volume you can see in the top left corner the decibels you are turning down or you can't <laughs> I'm sorry no I will just turn down the volume so uh, those kicks won't be clipping I make sure those kicks are not clipping you know you can see it that it is really lowered enough you know it's like minus minus 15 decibels so it's really enough and I will keep the volume this way uh, for the rest of the time that I will be bouncing separated things from the mix, you know, so let's say I will now You know like bounce this uh, this first kick stem. Let's call it, you know Kicks I won't be saving it, but you know just for the purpose of the tutorial and You know next thing you can bounce for example affixes. So What I will do now is that I go to the first FX of the project. I solo it you know click right mouse button on the on the solo button and I will then find all of the other FX samples you know impacts risers uh, white noise effects downlifters whatever one shots whatever you feel like uh, it's an FX type of sound and so I, I all of those sounds I soloed, you know. So now there are only effects playing, and I will do the same thing, you know, render it called effects, and so on and so on. The next thing I will uh, I will probably bounce are like claps and snares together. So I will name it like claps and snares. The next thing I, I would bounce uh, would be percussion and cymbals together, and right after that I will go to synth so this one 
this one is melody chord type of synth so i will bounce it as a melody chord this one will be melody lead you know bass synth and so on and so on so um yeah i didn't find any like easier type of uh these are type of bouncing stems so far. Um, this one works the best for me, even though it's a bit, uh, you know, it takes you some time because when you will have like a bit more complicated project than this, you will really need to be sure like that you bounce really all of those effects because otherwise they will be missing in the final, in the final, you know, mastered track. So um, yeah, but once you will do this like, a few maybe more times you will just you know used to it so uh, yeah that's the way how I bounce stems and don't forget link all of your sounds to the mixed channels and turn off everything that can compress or limit peaks in the master channel that's the most important thing and yeah that's all uh, in case you are interested in mastering, be sure to go to our sites, click on the uh, mastering section and you will you will just see how it all works. Um, yeah, thank you for watching guys, have a nice day and take care, bye!